Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks which is the 26th of April to the 10th of May 2021 and it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time to see what's on the cards for you but before we delve into the tarot reading I need to consult the oracle and this is a compendium of witches oracle and I'm going to use it today just to draw a couple of cards for you to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for Aries for the 26th of April to the 10th of May 2021. What messages are here for Aries for the next two weeks? What does Aries need to know now? So we'll just take... Oh, okay, you've got three cards. Let's see what you've got. Storm. The Dusk Child and the Cauldron. So the storm speaks of um, a challenge, a difficult time, um, adversity coming your way. Um, but through that adversity, it, it is going to enable you to transmute energies, to change something. And you may well be able to, if you're willing to, as the Dusk Child says, um, if you're willing to embrace the obscure um, you you'll be able to use this time creatively to 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 take a difficulty and transform it into something positive something creative so there you have the dusk child out of um, a dark time out of the obscurity you may if you're willing to think outside the box and be creative, you can use it to work to your advantage. The Dusk Child speaks of embracing things that may sometimes or to some people be slightly abhorrent, certainly obscure. Um, you know, it speaks of liminal spaces, liminal times when the light is fading and the shadows are growing. But, you know, um, through using your resources, using your creativity, you can um, channel it into something positive, into something creative. So there you have the cauldron, the dusk child and storm. But let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what's on the cards for Aries for the 26th of April to the 10th of May 2021. What messages are here for Aries for this time? What does Aries need to know now? So the deck I've chosen for you today is the Druid Craft Tarot and I'll be using my usual eight card spread with the first two cards depicting you where you are now, your current situation. The next two cards highlighting the challenges you face at this time and the um, following two cards offering some guidance from divine energies as you work your way towards the final two cards which will um, reveal your possible outcome. So you start with the High Priest and the Prince of Pentacles and your challenges are the Princess of Swords and the Five of Wands which really fits in with the storm and then your guidance cards are the Lovers and the Five of Cups, which also actually 
links in well with the storm and then it brings you to I'll move that up there it brings you to the fool a new beginning and the queen of swords and at the bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles and when I looked at it immediately I think of um, you know difficult times where you may struggle for resources but the reassurance that one finds in the six of pentacles is that somehow there's always enough it's about give and take um, of not always physical resources but certainly energies give and take fairness you know the need for a balance but I get a sense here it's sort of almost quite a comforting card for you in as much as um, what I gleam from it now is that in times of adversity you will find that you have enough it, it, it your resources come your way through perhaps through acts of kindness or simply serendipities but you start here with the high priestess and the prince of pentacles um I mean, sorry, the High Priest, or the Hierophant in other decks, as he is known. And um, this speaks of needing or of, of being in a position where you're receiving, if not instruction, certainly guidance from um, um, something that is a well-founded institutional sort of energy. Um, and we often think of the constraints that that may bring, although it's sort of very stabilizing. Um, and next to the Prince of Pentacles, it sort of speaks of having to lay down um, firm, solid foundations, uh, trying to get back on the horse almost, and... and um, move forward with an idea a project or with just daily life in a in a practical way doing the right things doing the practical things um, so that's where you start um, you know confined in a format and trying to um, use it to lay down firm foundations in order to get something going for some of you it may well you know sort of represent a, a, a job offer but that's just a very general idea that jumped out then so starting starting off or laying certain foundations from the sources or the use or the under the guidance of of traditional means and your challenges, um, well, this princess of swords, yeah, I get a sense, owning your truth and speaking out amongst adversity. The five of wands is about um, a bit of competition, a bit of difficulties, adversities coming your way. But it does sort of show that these are nothing you can't overcome. And as you've got in your oracle cards, these are things that you can turn to your advantage. But you've certainly as your challenge is, is finding that truth, finding that um, sense of integrity and being able to hold on to that, to speak it um, in, in the face of, of difficulties, of competition, of people not being able to um, combine their energies or their resources in a fair and collaborative way in order to get somewhere, in order to, to achieve their goal. Um, your guidance from spirit says that yeah, this is um, the lovers. It, now often this speaks. I mean, this particular card sort of does show a, a union of the coming together of opposite energies, of opposites, or of at least um, polar energies, different energies, in order to create, in order to be able to fully create. And so it sort of suggests um, coming together of you know drawing down these these or drawing together aligning these different difficulties and channeling them to create one potential thing to begin something
that is um, creative and can be fruitious. And it also speaks of, you know, the choice that you may need to make to step out of a comfort zone to face the new, to embrace the new in a, and be able to make something of that. And um, the, with the Five of Cups next to the Lovers, I get a sense of, you know, the, it, the cup, Five of Cups speaks of, of difficulties, of regret and um, loss, a sense of mourning perhaps. But um, with the lovers, it makes me think, can we see everything, sorry. With the lovers, it makes me think, um, you know, there's the two cups to me. It represents the, the, the two energies, the two things that you can pull together in order to overcome this. Um, the, the three cups lying on the ground with the, with the liquid spilt out of them shows that, you know, that that's the sense of loss. And if you're focusing on, on what's gone, on the difficulties, on the loss, you're, you're not, you won't be able to put your energies and your um, intent into working with what you do have and um, you know and again that sort of it sort of speaks of lack and and um a sense of chaos and this sort of shows that if you're able to rather focus on what is coming your way and use it in a creative and um inventive way you'll be able to work through this quite quite easily and bring yourself to a new beginning. The Fool is all about that new beginning, that stepping out on your own um, in a, with a sense of adventure, with a sense of faith that things will fall into place. And along the um, Queen of Swords you have, you know, alongside it sort of shows that you gain, you master that, that need, that to to own your truth to um to to hold on to your integrity and it, it it sort of implies that there may be something you have to let go in order to do that the queen of swords um is someone who has suffered a loss but through that she's she's come out wiser um more she's come out wiser and and more intellectually developed you know she's sort of detached slightly on an emotional level she may she's often sort of depicted as detached but it's because she's ruled by her head her head's above the clouds um and she has she has mastered her integrity she's mastered her um intellect and is using that in full in order to um To, to remain on 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 key on on track with things so that's quite a fascinating reading for me um, I mean a fascinating spread it sort of shows to sum it up you know sort of you're at a point where you are wanting to get on track with something needing to lay down the firm foundations to to, to begin the practical things to Put your focus into it and it's connected to um, the structure of something traditional. And um, you have the Princess of Swords sort of speaking of, of the difficulty in, in voicing your opinion or owning your truth amongst difficult um, opposing energies or opinions. And the idea is, you know, there's, there could be quite a lot of quarrelsomeness and, and, and sort of hurt involved in that. But um, if you're able to pull together two po polar energies and direct them towards a new beginning, you can use this time creatively in order to begin, start on a new clear path where you are you own your truth, you, you, you have your integrity in hand and, um, you know, that sense of discipline and um, clear-headedness, clear-headedness. So it's using a, a, a time of, a, 
a liminal space in time where you can transcend from being kept in a traditional um, secure environment just to break out on your own a bit and, and, and be your own boss and knowing that you know that having been able to have the faith that as you do that you'll be able to have the resources you need so there you have it Aries I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you and if so please remember to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and you can comment down below if you want but having weathered the storm I do hope you have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.